Good afternoon guys and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another video here in Turkey. And in today's video guys, we're gonna be doing some more exploring as you've been seeing with all of the videos here in Turkey. But before we get going, you can probably tell I'm a little bit tired. We're gonna stop here at the coffee roastery. I don't know what the official name of it is, but we're about to find out. Uranus Roasting Machine is what this is called right here. But what a grand entrance into a coffee shop. When you walk in, you get all these like fixtures that are actually lights, but they look like components for the coffee machine. And then we've got some uh, good cups of joe we're gonna be getting here. Hello. All right, oh, we've got chocolate cookies in here too. Oh, baby. Yes. You got uh, iced coffee too? You want iced coffee? Oh, yes, please. Okay, you want iced coffee? No, no, uh, just okay. Cold, iced coffee. Iced coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Ice, one iced coffee, one espresso shot. That's okay. it. So no, no two espresso shots. Yeah, like an iced latte, please. Okay, iced latte. Okay. Yeah. okay Thank you so much. All right. So this is our best coffee in Istanbul. Be best coffee in Istanbul. Yes. Oh, perfect. Istanbul, uh, right? Your coffee shop. Yes. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Onur. Oh, Jonas. Onur. 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 Mac. Onur. Nice Onur. to meet you. Onur. Nice yeah, to meet you. Bro. I'm from the United States. Uni USA. USA. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm from Canada. 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 Pakistan. Pakistan. I'm from Canada. Why were you laughing? Like you understood what they said. <laughs> I'm just laughing because it seemed funny. <laughs> yeah, that, okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's crowd mentality. You know, that's a thing. I didn't yeah, even realize yeah. I was laughing till you said it. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting called out right now. I was like, why are you guys laughing? You know what you know. Yeah, exactly. That's so funny. There, there's a thing called crowd mentality, though. If everyone else is laughs, you're more inclined to laugh. And I was just actually in a laughing mood. So, <laughs> what, what did you guys actually say, though? I don't know. Get what you said. You I just laughed. That. Oh, so, dude. so we all laughed. Yeah. yeah. I, I was just confused. Yeah, yeah. So quick. Oh, we've got some good stuff over here. We've got smoothies and fresh juices they've even got over here, too. Oh, baby, baby, this is going to be great. So we've got the coffee going over there, some fresh machines, and that's going to get us going. Oh, yeah, YouTube. YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, the bro. There we go. Yeah, Istanbul. Let's go. we got a delicious little iced latte right here ready to be drank. Let's stir this thing up here. Oh, yeah, you see that thing mixing together? Let's try it out. You football. football. Oh, football. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I'm not a football fan, but I am a nice latte fan. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you know Thank it, you know it. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. We'll see you guys next time. See you. Goodbye. What do you think? Drink them here, boys? All right, we just sat down to uh, have a little coffee right here. Our man brought us out some treats here. They look like little dough cookies. So I think it's time to uh, try one out. Mmm. Mmm, mm, mm. Another dessert, very good. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You guys gonna try one? Dessert time. Yeah, sure. You say the coffee. Oh, there we go. The man knows what he's doing here. It's not his first rodeo. Mmm. It goes down nice with the coffee. 100%, you know, it's Where like sweet and savory. Match made in heaven. Where are these roti? Oh, yeah. YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, yeah. I'm gonna go again. Sock then. That's for sweet and salty at the same time, I feel. Ah, so that's a good one then, yeah? Yeah, good combination. You rate it. All right, well, might as well have another one. Mm, 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 mm. Another dessert. I'm gonna try your trick. No blend in the mouth. Mmm, the blend is quite nice. Yep. Hits the spot. So that was about, I want to say like 35 lira per coffee, so it's a little under $3. Um, ooh, had to swallow that one. Mahad paid 100 and that got two double shot espressos, yeah? Yep. And then plus the iced coffee, so. Yeah, you're looking at, what is that, like, is that six bucks? Six dollars. Yeah, six dollars. So like coffee's not like super super inexpensive when you go to wet like it's it's not cheap here when you go to western places and but this if you is go considered expensive as well yeah, exactly if you go to the Asian side it'd be like nothing like no, yeah, yeah. In any other shop it's not that much for yeah. coffee yeah probably. no I had a coffee uh, before at um, espresso lab yeah uh, same type and it was thirty five oh yeah true so I'd say like from what I've noticed here all the coffee shops I've been to for like your more modern uh, style coffee shops you'll pay two three dollars a coffee. 
But if you're going to like more of a local uh, spot, you're gonna Turkish coffee. That's when I feel like you're gonna be paying like 50 cents a pop. Yeah, it's more cultural, right? That's yeah. probably why. Yeah, yeah, true, Have true. Have you tried the Turkish coffee? Uh, not here. We need should. to. You should. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely need to try that. Afternoon coffee run then, yeah? Yeah. I want to find a place where they make it in sand. I've seen videos of that. In oh, sand? Yeah. In yeah. Time, so I they use it. like hot sand to heat up the, the, the coffee. The coffee. Yeah. 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 It yeah. looks so satisfying. It's like ASMR and then it just, it tastes good apparently. It's very strong from whatever. We may find uh, we're, it we're doing that. The old side. Okay. We might find it because okay, it's perfect. like a traditional thing. All right. Well, let's I'm do that. It. Taking off, brother. We'll catch you next time. Okay. See you. Thank you very much. Okay, sir. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, brother. All right, we're feeling energized and ready to go. Well, that's a big one. So we are going to be taking the metro, is it? Tramway. Tramway, all right. It's a tramway from right here. A, uh, a car that's driving down the uh, tracks. Is that a thing? Wow. That's one way to get by. <laughs> Oh, there's another one. The tram has arrived. It's been a while. Oh, everyone drives on the tram. That's crazy. I hope we meet this one. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Old. The old city. I was about to say old one. The old city. Do we think we'll make it? Nope. Hold the door. There's still open. There's still open. Hold the door. Thank you, sir. All right, we have found the tramway. Oh, you don't want to touch that. That's how you lose a finger. Gotta get on this time. Yep. All right. Right in the middle. We have entered. Oh. Well, it's gonna be a tight fit, boys. How are you guys doing over there? It's tight. Yeah. How many stops are we going? I think there's there's a lot. Decent amount. Yeah. Saad, how many? Uh... Let me check. You might check there actually. It's like five stops, eleven minutes. All right, eleven minutes. At least we have AC on here. So now we're uh, entering into the side where we've spent some time in. The first couple videos, if you guys remember those in the uh, early times in Istanbul here, right downtown, but we're actually gonna be taking the tram much, much further through here. So it's so beautiful. They all look different. different. Like there's something different about them, but from inside, they are yeah. Well, the uh, metro just stopped here after rolling back a bit. All power has been cut. Not sure if this thing's gonna start rolling back or uh, if we're just taking a little pause yeah. here. ACs have been turned off. Yeah, it's gonna start getting it's really warm in here. Yeah. Oh, emergency message coming. Oh, we're starting up the engines again. All right. Oh, we got the TVs back on. At least we can watch stuff getting baked up there. They're rebooting. Rebooting the system. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's the worst part of what summer is. Sweaty bulk. <laughs> the, 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 the smell starts getting stronger. <laughs> I'd rather be at the fish market right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got sounds of starting up. Fire it up. Mm, something to save up from mm, smell. Hey, smart man. Yeah. Now we go back in business. Oh, we're going backwards. And we're pushing forward. Come on, come on, Betsy. Yalla, yalla, yalla. I don't think oh, we're going backwards. We made some progress crap. and then we go yeah. back. Yeah. It's more just open the doors, like it's our next stop. Right? Yeah, yeah. Just walk through. I think we're, uh, we're slowly pushing up. Oh, and we're going back and forth. All right. Have it, has this ever happened, you saw? No, this is the first time I've been doing it. Uh oh. Well. Oh. Oh. Holy crap, we are now going backwards. Hey, we're switching trains. Oh, uh, and there's a train that way. I hope we don't crash here. With oh. All right. Well, the guy's coming out to make an announcement, I think. Our driver's leaving. Our driver has left. What is going on here? I think we might have to go walking. The abandoned ship. Yeah. All right. 
Well, we, we picked an interesting tram to hop on board. I can tell you that. I don't think we're meant to. I, I thought for a second we were about to go collide into that yeah, other one. I was like, brace, live. brace. Yeah, yeah. All right, our driver has, oh, returned. We're going this way now. All right. That's uh, it's keeping things interesting. Yep. <laughs> Eventful. I wonder where we're uh, planning on going. There's a tram right over there. Oh, now the tram is going the other way. All right. So it looks like the uh, transportation is about to hit a severe bottleneck in this part of Istanbul today. Oh, there's another tram behind that one, so they can't go anywhere. Yeah, time to just hop off this thing. Now we have three trams in a row. I think God's telling us to just go back and sleep. Mm, no, that means we gotta walk. We're being told right now that we need to get our exercise in Maybe. after that Turkish after breakfast. After breakfast, that's probably it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, well, the good news is is uh, we're back to where we left off and we're climbing the hill a little bit quicker. So maybe we just needed a bit of a push start. And oh, we're picking up speed now. All right. Well, that's good news. Hopefully uh, we continue progressing. Yeah, hopefully we'll continue progressing in this way, yeah? <laughs> As you can see, there hasn't been a tram for so long. Everyone's trying to get in, get out. All right, we have made it off. Holy crap, it is busy. There are hundreds of people trying to get on here. We have reached a bottleneck. Is there another way out? All right, wow. Well, that, that was a tram experience. tram to leave and then we'll Little one, the tram watcher. Mm -hmm. The tram watcher. All right, well, we see we've got the uh, tow truck in process right here. That's probably good to have him driving because we've already got the next tram coming, so they're going to be coming back and forth. We got to experience what the uh, issues were. Oh, we've got um, multiple moving. All right, we are here. Watch out, watch out. Not here yet. Can you stop? Yeah, let's go. All right, guys, well, an official welcome here to old Istanbul. But before we take you any further, it's going to be a quick stop for a sunscreen break. Remember how I told you in a previous video, if you get the hammam done, you got that layer of skin that is now exposed. So it seems like all the shade spots are taken. Yeah, exactly. We got to go. Furry creatures. Yeah, hey, we got all the cats hanging out in this area. Oh, I got the old wall you're climbing up on. Oh, the old wall. Oh, oh, oh. Liquid. It's been in there for a while. Yeah, there we no, go. No, it's like not like it's like legit. Do you need some? I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah. Let's naturally. try this out. Naturally, bro. It gets hot and below just under. Yeah, yeah it has sure. like no more for us here now. Yeah, guys, take care of that skin because if you don't, nobody else will. You have a skincare routine right now? Mm, yeah, I guess we got one today. Yeah, exactly. Necessary. Uh, I mean, you learned the hard way though, right? Yeah, I learned the hard way. Unfortunately, this was a, a trial and error process, but uh, hey, you guys can learn from my mistakes. After the hammam, straight to the sunscreen. Five things to do in Istanbul. <laughs> Put sunscreen on. <laughs> yeah, literally. All right, sunscreen's on. We are ready to enter in to this one's the official name is the Blue Mosque, yeah. but it has another name too. Sultana Matia. Sultana Matia. All right, we're getting to the Sultana Matia right now. Uh, that seagull right there is an absolute unit. Look at that thing. Yeah, he's the one who gets all the salmon. Wow, that's a big bird. Holy crap. All right, so we, we've got a bath here. Got a fancy tub. Rumor has it this is made of real gold. I, I dare you to drink it. I was gonna watch the pool. I caught that, I, so you want me to Oh die? yeah. Oh, yeah. That, I caught that on camera. Yeah, no, 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 oh, wait. Camera. This, is, this is the good water. Yeah. Oh is yeah. It, is it drinking water? I'm not sure, but only exactly. one way to find out. Oh. Try out, try out. Oh, 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 there we go. Just a little yeah, splash on the face. It, I don't know about Mosque. So here's the entrance of the Sultan Ahmed. Is this the Sultan? Yeah, this is the Blue Mosque. Okay, but like, let's go far first and see like what it looks like, you know? You yeah. want to go straight in? Inside? I guess we can go straight in as well. Yeah, like this. Right, split so people so yeah. Much. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Yalla, yalla. So fun. All right. Nope, don't forget to take your shoes off when you're entering. Hopefully my shoes oh, will be there. The one thing you know about moss is that you gotta actually find your shoes. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
Can you explain what this is? These look like graves, I think. Graves, yeah. yeah. These are tombs. That's like the Sultan, the Kings, you know. Do you know who Sultan Ahmed was? I have no idea. Yeah, look at this architecture. Massive dome up top there. And we got someone's phone going off over there. Guys, yeah, so I wasn't filming this part, but uh, we just spoke to uh, a nice lady outside who explained to us what those coffins were for. And it was basically there was 19 people that were killed by the Sultan um, back when uh, this guy had taken power. And so I guess it's like accepted, it was accepted back then to be able to just go and uh, kill them. And it's just so it like prevents future wars. So fascinating to see that, but uh, quite, quite wild to imagine what that was like back then, you know, for them, uh, going and doing all that to their family members. Wow. But uh, yeah, now we are uh, cruising this way towards the main massive mosque over here. All right, so that is the mosque we're going to go to last. We went to actually the tomb side of the mosque and the main blue mosque over there is what we're going to walk over to now. This like whole complex here is so impressive. Like everything is designed, I mean, like to just such a, a beautiful extent. You got these mosaic tiles right here and then you have this huge fountain and it's just lit up with so much energy and excitement. Food stands in the distance here. Just a great place to stroll around and, uh, you know, take in this part of Istanbul, old Istanbul. And it looks like even over there, we'll probably stop on the way after we take a right here, we've got uh, some food stalls. So we're gonna cruise up this way and see, yeah, this is for sure one of the most majestic mosques I've ever seen before. All right, and we're going through the entrance. Just shows, you know, with this style of the door and the, uh, you can't really see it, but very, very old. You can see right over there, just a very old wall that surrounds it. But it's, aside from it being so old, it's in incredible, impeccable condition. You can see there's a remodel actually going on at this time. And we are entering inside. Wow, they're doing some serious remodels to this place. But look at how big this place is. I think we should cut it Uh, the exits this way? Oh, we don't want So I guess we're going to be going this way. Oh, wow. Since there's so much construction going on, it's hard to see everything. But you can see how tall the, uh, the ceiling of the dome is. The dome's restoration has been complete. So I guess first step was to restore the dome. And then now they must be doing the uh, lower levels. So there's probably not too much more I'll show you in here guys because obviously the restorations uh, covering up a lot of the things but it's from what we can see here it's really beautiful when you look around and see how well it's designed. So guys we just got over to the Hagia Sophia right here and as you can see it is massive. So what I'm being told here is it was once a month, I guess this is a debatable topic so drop your comments below with your opinions. I'm not saying I agree or disagree this is just what I was just told here that um, it was a once a mosque, then it was turned into a church, and then now recently, in the last couple of months, it was reopened as a mosque where you can go in. So you can just see over here, look at how many people, I believe this is the line, are waiting to get in. So if that's the case, I'm not entirely certain if we'll have the time to get all the way in, but uh, we'll give it a shot. That's, is that a line? Apparently. Oh. Are you prepared to wear an hour in the scorching mm, hot sun? Uh, or are we going to come back at 8 a.m. tomorrow? Mm, no, yeah, the gate's closed. No one is entering. Like, yeah, it does look like the gate is closed. It's like the tram we were just on right now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Say that one more time. So you're a guide for the like, like other people so inside. So you got away. When they come out, we all can enter. Oh, okay. All right. Perfect. You guys, uh, what is it, 30 euros? Yes. No, no, for everybody. Totally. Ah, oh, okay, okay. He's saying it's 30 euros for a tour inside for a guide. That was 30 euros. Uh, you can have that one coffee. <laughs> one coffee, yeah. Exactly. All right. The gate has opened. So we've got to make it in before they close the gates. Yalla boys. Yalla, let's go. Let's have fun. I was worried we were about to miss the entrance. So what is it? They like open it for 30 minutes at a time and then close it? Actually, they decide if there's too many people inside, they're gonna like close it and then again open it. Oh, okay. All right. You can see how much older this structure is than 
the other mosque we're just in the blue mosque this one here is you can tell it's dating back so many more hundreds of years later although it seems like some of its newer architecture all right so we are entering in as you can see it is a grand entrance and just being inside of here like with the amount of stone coverage it's almost like a natural ac i mean maybe there is ac in here but i'm pretty sure it's from the stone but look at how crazy big this is chandeliers hanging up this way and a spot to drop the shoes right over here got a slot right there all right and we are entering in look at this this actually reminds me of a mosque that i was in in um, cairo egypt very different from it but it's got some similarities to it i'd say probably just the color of the lighting and some of the uh fixtures hanging down from here look at how massive this is it's got to be like 50 plus meters up to the top of it so as this was a church for a period of time i guess right up there used to be um uh, paintings from the church and so since it's been converted a few times uh you still see like various differences that uh, make it a um really unique mosque to visit uh, so if you see that the boys just pointed out that that right there is from uh, previous days because there's not normally mo uh, faces in mosques. You can see right there. Yeah, as you walk around this place, you can just feel how massive it is. I mean, we've been walking around for a few minutes now. And you can see there's multiple levels that basically surround the entire place. And it is phenomenal. Guys, so we're back out in the like the lobby area, or not the lobby area, but the area when you first walk in. And look at that, you can still see the crosses. And it looks like, uh, from here, it looks like that's a photo of Jesus, or a, a painting. So it's actually uh, very interesting. I'm just like imagining being in here, and like the fact that, at least what I'm being told, that it was a mosque, then it was turned into a church, and then it was a mosque again. But like, you think about that, and it's like, was there just like one day where there was, like um, prayers going on uh, as a mosque and then that was the last day then the next day it opened up as a church did it like close down for many years like was there a war going on that's when a, a tour guide would come in handy but in this case where we didn't get one um, yeah I'm curious what your guys' opinions are from what you've heard if you're familiar with the story of this mosque drop the comments below so all of us that are watching this can uh, go ahead and get an idea of uh, what the opinions are because I guess it's controversial there's, there's a few different theories of of the situation here but to be able to see all of that and then see it now as a mosque it's just very interesting wow and on the way out we have all of that still in here that is so interesting to see all of this and we're exiting now all right guys and that is where we're gonna go ahead and end today's video hope you enjoyed coming with us trying out a coffee getting us going then having an interesting experience on the tram ride and making it over here to old Istanbul where we checked out two incredibly beautiful mosques and yeah it was a really fun day exploring hope you guys uh, have enjoyed it and we will see you guys in tomorrow's video with the boys again yes sir yes sir yes see sir as always guys thanks for watching see you then